Welcome back to the front, my friends. Today, we are actually going to be rolling with a BRDM. This is going to be a Soviet armored vehicle, which we're going to use to take on NATO forces. Now, in this particular fight, we have an unknown number of Bradleys um, ahead of us here. Obviously, we need to see if we can't take them out, but only a single BRDM nothing special in terms of our armor and no accompanying missiles to fire or toes or anything like that this is all gonna be machine guns folks 14.5 millimeter let's get started i already spot a vehicle unfortunately hard to get that perfect trajectory i think we got him there's another one out there and i'm gonna back up because one hit is all it takes guys one burst is all it takes to kill everyone in this vehicle where we are reloading that gun and i'd like to think that we wasted everybody in the first vehicle can't be 100 percent certain but let's go ahead and aim at this other one i'm shocked he hasn't seen us yet We did get some penetration for sure, but I'm not sure if it's sufficient to kill him. Over here, for instance, this guy's definitely smoking. He is definitely toast, I believe. But I still see that machine gunner. I'm going to give them one more burst. And some of it is being stopped by terrain, etc. But I'd like to think that we did enough there. I'm keeping, of course, into the forest, guys, so I don't take any shots. Like I said before, all it takes is a single burst, and this vehicle is destroyed. Or one of the gunners is dead, one of the crew members is dead, and it happens quite quickly. So I am trying to use um, armored vehicle tactics, which is just to get to the edge of the forest here, uh, and wipe the targets that way. So two BRDMs down. Let's see how many more we can get. And maybe just... Nice little burst there going to remain on the side of the woods and i'm going to proceed forward folks and if you guys enjoy these vehicles where we are focusing on brdms armored cars etc instead of tanks let me know in the comments i always love to get your feedback now i've actually backed off a bit here um just because i am almost certain that those additional enemy armored vehicles are going to be somewhere off that road and potentially on the edge of that forest. So, of course, it seems like being on the edge of the woods would be the wise choice here, but potentially not. So what I'm going to do is actually use the enemy vehicles as sort of cover, uh, depending on where the other enemy vehicles could be. That's toast. That's definitely toast. And one interesting thing, by the way, about this armored personnel carrier, guys, is... Um, as you can see, we can't just fire down the middle uh, because of that, what I believe to be a headlamp, it sort of stops the gun. So you have to almost fire at an angle. Uh, I'd love to get some advice or opinions about that down below uh, just to see what you guys think about that. Because, of course, that can complicate things. We are hunting Bradleys. That guy's definitely toast. Also lowered sensitivity as a few people recommended. I see a Bradley. I see him. We may have killed the gunner. Penetrated gun shield. The um the actual gunner would likely be behind that because they have a gunner on the top. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna have to go in straight up. And I'm going to try to hit him quickly, pretty much, just to make sure he's dead. As you can see, with these BRDMs, you need to be damn quick. And this time, I might not even aim. I might just fire, sort of having him in my sights. Although, I can actually see part of that vehicle. Pretty sure the gunner is killed. We're just going to touch it up a bit. Let's go, boys. Ugh. Penetrated driver's left arm, penetrated right lung of the gunner. Perfect. We're going to fill it full of lead just to be certain, but I think that is another dead enemy vehicle, guys. Three kills. Absolutely awesome. Three kills. Not bad. Where are the rest of the enemy vehicles going to be? I suspect up that road, actually. I'm going to take a look over there. See that damn headlamp. 
but I'm not seeing anything. Another interesting thing about the scope on this particular vehicle, it's not exactly the best looking scope, let's be honest. Uh, it's kind of hard to see down it, but nonetheless, we're gonna keep on pushing. So that's three Bradleys. I'm gonna use this one as cover. I see gunfire. We gotta get out of the way. Gotta get out of the way. I'm gonna try to take cover in the tr in the trees here. Our engine is damaged slightly. It's nothing serious, just 17%, but it could be a problem, of course. And let's swing this baby around. See if we can spot the enemy here. Another option is to like try to draw fire and get him to look over here. We're taking a risk, but I'm going for it. All downhill, because we were actually picking up speed pretty quickly there. See, if the enemy spotted us here, we would be dead meat. Absolutely would be dead meat. Just extracting ourselves from here is going to be a pain. There we go. You can do it. Yes. Again, we're trying to stay out of the open, but the thing is, the Bradleys are likely doing the same thing, so we could just pretty much stumble across one without realizing it. I feel like we almost certainly took that fire from this side of the map. So I'm going to head up here and see if I can't ha put eyes on that Bradley before he puts eyes on us. Also, I believe this uphill area is going to give us a better visual over the field. Not necessarily a good thing. I see him, boys. I see him 100%. Problem is we got to get this thing turned the right way and hope he doesn't spot us. But I absolutely saw that Bradley in the middle of the field there. Let's get the gun ready. <gasps> Quite a few of them, boys. Fire! I'm going to try to switch over quickly. Reload, reload. He does seem to be smoking, though. Oh, 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 backing up, backing up. Gunner is killed. That's how quickly it can happen, guys. I thought for sure that we had destroyed that guy, but he was absolutely still firing. What I'm going to try to do here is to get away with my vehicle and at least survive as the BRDM squad. I would say that's a pretty good deal anyway, managing to take out three Bradleys um, and probably seriously damaging a fourth just in an effort to get the hell out of the area. Of course, we didn't win the mission, but what I really wanted to do in this video is show you guys some action with the BRDM. Uh, and we're gonna have to come back for a little bit more action here in a second. Evacuate the vehicle, run to the woods. I think we'd probably be safe, but obviously um, losing that gunner is no fun. Luckily, the rest of the crew is good to go, um, but we can't seem to put anybody in the gunner seat. Hopefully that comes later in the game. So we're gonna call it a mission right there. Let's take a look at some more armored vehicles. Now, I'll be honest, I feel like driving these BRDMs takes even more skill than driving the tanks. And the reason being, your reaction time has to be so damn quick here, and you really have to be moving. I really feel that way. I think this thing is most effective when it's moving and firing, not remaining stationary and firing, because even the um, frontal armor here is really nothing special. So we're going to head over here. We're going to look for maybe that Bradley up here and see if we can just tag him and move on quickly without incurring any shots our way at all. I might not even try to aim. I might just go and do a drive-by here. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, there we go. We definitely got a hit through the, through the trees, of course. Was it enough to kill him? We'll come back and take a look. Definitely some ricocheting shots as well, so I fear it may have not been enough to kill him. 
But I'm just going to give him one other burst. And again, we are not even aiming. We're simply fire. Well, we're aiming, but it's sort of a, this game's equivalent of a hip fire. By the way, I love that East German flag there. So cool. Yeah, he's smoking. He's destroyed. So we're going to go for the next one and in the same way. And the thing is, we know for sure there's also one hiding over here in the trees. Uh, but of course, the caveat here is we know his exact position. So we're going to try to get him as well. But again, no real aiming. Um, I am just driving by, firing in the general direction of where I think he is, and hoping I land a hit. Was that was that him? I think it was. Here we go. Hurra! Oh no! The tree stopped us. Hurra! there we go. We did destroy him, but that guy right there immediately killed the gunner. So certainly the gunner in this BRDMs is the first to go, almost immediately getting wasted by the enemy. Uh, but I do think that that approach of like coming in quick, firing and continuing to move, also using the tree cover, was the best approach. I genuinely thought we were coming into the flank of that guy, not this one, um, but nonetheless, a fun little showing of the BRDM. I love this little vehicle. Uh, is it that special? Probably not. But I think other against um, maybe infantry, uh, it's quite effective. Against other armored cars, I think I'd probably stick with the Bradley. You probably have a few more shots that you could take before being completely killed. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you like this focus on the BRDM2 um, as opposed to just tanks, then let me know in the comments.